Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my returning subscribers and my besties. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday, where I tell you a little bit about what's been going on in my life and you find out about the chaos that is Kimmy. And you tell me a little bit about your life and we, um you know, become true besties. And that's the goal of my channel. And speaking of my channel, I would like to invite you all, if you haven't already done so, to please like, comment, even if it's just some emojis, and subscribe to my channel and become one of my true besties. Um, it really helps with engagement when you comment, even if it's just an emoji. I really do appreciate that. I'm trying to grow my channel and it's slow, but it's okay. It will organically happen when it's the time when I know that. So first of all, I want to thank everybody who watched my Timu Tuesday video and saw my bathing suit try on. Now it wasn't like a tight one piece, you know, um, body fitting, body shaping bathing suit. It was crisscross on top and had a skirt and it came with a pair of briefs. And I was very nervous to do that because I haven't worn a bathing suit in decades, decades, like a lot of decades. <laughs> you know, I'm 57 years old, be 58 this year. I haven't worn a bathing suit since my son, who's 32, probably he was like four or five years old, was the last time I wore a bathing suit. So I was very nervous about doing it. And of course, putting it on the internet, like who does that? But I want to always be honest about my journey. And you guys were so kind and so incredibly um welcoming and just uplifting and i really do appreciate that it was really hard for me to do that and i did not get one negative comment whether you thought it looked good or not i appreciate you not dragging me through the coals because i was so worried about that um and thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart i really appreciate the kindness that you have shown me always, always, but especially with that video and with that try on because that was very scary for me to do. Um, so thank you. I love you all. All right, so my grandson is feeling better. I had to watch him on Thursday and he wasn't feeling good. He was running a slight fever and let me tell you, this child, he is the light of my life. But since he has learned to say Mima, excuse me, of course we have lipstick on the teeth, he calls me a thousand times a day. And I swear he does it just to hear himself talk. And it's like, Mima, look, Mima this, Mima that. And I love it. But if, And I'm always so patient with him. You know, he's the cutest thing on the planet. And I'm like, yes, Dominic. Oh, sorry, I usually don't say his name. Uh, I'm like, yes, sweetheart. Um, yes, honey, what what do you want? Yes, I see that. Yes, that's perfect. Yes, you're awesome. You know, what, whatever it was, you want milk? Okay, Mima will get you milk. You know, whatever it is you want, um, Mima's here to do for you. And we have the best relationship and I am so attached to this child, which brings me to the next thing. My son and daughter-in-law were approved for a mortgage. You know, they would be the first ones in my family, my immediate family, to own a home. Um, so I am so incredibly proud of them for having a good credit score and being financially responsible and all that good stuff. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a home. And these two, are, they're so creative and... They're very crafty people and they just are just so like their they're home. They live in an apartment. I live in an apartment complex. They live a couple buildings down from me and the outside of their home, they have a little garden, you know, they, you do, do what you can with what you have and they make things look so, so nice. And she's just a great decorator. My son is very creative as well. And my grandson is gonna definitely get that gene, I think, I hope, because I don't have it. I'm not, I'm not good with stuff like that. And um, so they were approved for, for a mortgage and they started looking at houses and 
I manifest every day and I'm manifesting that they don't move more than 30 minutes away from me at any given time in their whole entire existence. They're not allowed to do that, even though things would be cheaper for them if they did not live in New York. You know, I mean, if they go out east, it's a little bit cheaper, but they just went to Mystic, Connecticut on vacation over the weekend. And it was so cute. The baby was calling me for the first hour um, and he's like, Papa, where Mima? Mima come? Mima's gonna be here? And they're like, no buddy, it's just the three of us. And he was throwing such a tantrum because I was not with him. And of course that made me feel good, but I felt bad for his parents. I'm sorry, my nose is just really itchy. I feel like I have a piece of hair on me somewhere and I can't find it. Um, but anyway, they came back and they came over because I had the Spider-Man backpack, which he was afraid of. Go figure, you know. Um, and his Spider-Man towel, and he loved the beach toys. He absolutely loved the beach toys and was out like, you know, like, we need beach now. And I'm like, over the weekend, we'll go to the beach. You know, Mima will wear her bathing suit and we'll just, you know, I have my SPF of 50 because skin cancer runs in my family and I'm very, very fair. And they came back and they said, oh, by the way, we found a house in Connecticut. Okay, Connecticut is not that far from New York. It's like two and a half hours, but that's not 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? That's not 30 minutes away. That's not acceptable. And I was like, oh. And they're like, yeah, it was a three bedroom home. You know, it was in their price range. They could definitely do it. And I'm like, Connecticut, the taxes have to be high. I don't know why you'd want to move there. I was hoping you'd live here on the island somewhere. And they're like, no, Connecticut's not that far uh, until they have another child, um, which they're not going to do until they get a house. They're going to uh, use the one room as a guest room. And I was like, all of a sudden, I started to bawl. <laughs> I started getting hysterical crying, and I was bawling. And she's like, what's wrong? I was like, I am so incredibly proud of the two of you, but I don't want you to move that far away from me. <laughs> Acting like such a nut job. Oh my God, this is like annoying me. Acting like such a nut job. And they're like, you're proud of us, but you don't want us to go. And I was like, that's exactly right, you know? And um, the baby came over and put his arms around me and he's like, me stay, me ma. And I was like, of course you're gonna stay with Mima. They can go live their lives somewhere else and Mima is gonna take care of you with everybody else living in Mima's house right now. Mima is gonna make room for you too. So don't even worry about it. And uh, it was just, thankfully, they were playing a joke on me. Um, they wanted to see if I would get upset. Her mother, when she told her mother this, hung up the phone on her, you know, um, because we're just so attached. And I know it's not good to be so codependent on your family. And I'm not, I'm really not. But this child is just like my whole world. And I can see him in 30 seconds if I need to, or if they need me for something, if he's not feeling well, if they need to run to the store, if they need to meet with the mortgage broker or whatever, I'm right here. And for me not to be able to get to them in that time frame is gonna be very different and it's gonna be hard. And I know one of my subscribers, my bestie, my sissy, understands what I'm talking about. You know, you're proud of them and you want what's best for your children but you're gonna miss them and it's not the same. It's just not gonna be the same when they find their house and I'm sure they're gonna find a lovely home and they could find a fixer upper and they're gonna make it beautiful because that's who they are as people. And um, it's, it's just a lot, you know, it's a lot to have to, I mean, it's great to watch your children grow up. This is really driving me crazy. I have a piece of hair somewhere on this face. Um, it's, it's amazing to watch your children grow up and take these steps and become homeowners and all that stuff. But since they've been living so close to me for so long and my grandson has been here since he's an infant, you know, I, I just can't let that go. And I'm having a hard time with that. So help me. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of help. I'm going to need a lot of therapy after this. Um, and the doctor came over about mama's foot. Now, mama's foot, the blister is literally this big. Now I'm not exaggerating. It's four inches around in every direction. It's, it's 
literally this big. It jiggles and it's very, very red and it's burning her. And it could be a cardiac problem. She has a, an appointment coming up with the cardiologist, but she has cataract surgery um, August 7th. So I believe July 30th, somewhere around there, she's gonna see the cardiologist. Hopefully we can get something on her foot because right now, if she puts anything on her foot, this thing is just gonna open and you don't want that. You want it to be able to dry up on its own. And she actually has this disgusting, a little black blood thing in there that just moves around. And it, it's disgusting. And the doctor saw it and she said, as her, time, her primary care came over and saw it, and she said, as her time as a doctor, this is only the second time she has seen this in her career. You know, so that says a lot. Um, my cardiologist, who's my mama's, mama's cardiologist also, uh, called her and said, you know, this could be uh, the beginning of a heart problem. You know, you have to worry about congestive heart failure. She had, so they increased her water pills. She's elevating it. She's doing all the things. Thank you for everyone who reached out and asked about mama and the baby and gave me um, really great ideas on how to help mama with her foot. Um, but the doctor had already at that time had given us the exact same thing that some of you had said. So you're very knowledgeable and I appreciate that. And so did she, you know, um, if we could just take care of the burning, you know, you can't put an ice pack on it because we don't want it to burst because then she's definitely prone to infection, you know, and that would not be a good thing. And so Sissy is making headway in her process of um, moving and she has almost everything in storage. Yet, um, Thursday tomorrow, she's going to be um, taking a few more things out from her house. And we think we found a place and they can sign the um, lease and start the paperwork August 1st. But she's not, it's not definite. Until she signs something, she's not gonna say she's leaving the apartment just yet. But she stays here every night and she cooks, which is awesome. And I love her for that. Um, and it's working out really well. So it's working out a lot better than I thought it was going to. And there's room and everybody's just getting along and it's awesome. So, you know, you do what you have to do for your family and your friends. And, you know, I will always do that. I, that's who I am as a person. And I wanna thank you all for listening to my rant and listening to me talk about my grandson and mama's issues and things like that. That's what's going on, on my in my life this week. And I hope you are having an amazing week and that things are calm and peaceful and happy. And with that being said, be happy, be healthy, be blessed, but most of all, be positively you because there's no one else quite like you. And that makes me so incredibly happy. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. You rock.